Hi friend, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to share 33 things to never say in a job interview. Number one, never criticize your current or previous employer or co-workers because they'll see you as a gossiper. And you know what they say about gossipers? Those who gossip will eventually gossip about you. So that's going to make them nervous and worried that you're going to talk bad about them or when you leave, you're going to talk bad about them. As you know, the world is filled with good things and bad things, and it's best to focus on the good things and not just always talking about the bad things. Don't say that my last boss was awful, terrible and a jerk because that shows a lack of emotional intelligence. Making someone else look bad is unprofessional and doesn't reflect good on you. Number two, don't say you hate your existing job because they'll see that as you just trying to get out of a bad situation and it shows that you're not actually passionate about this role that you're applying for. Number three, don't ask what the job is about because you should already know what the job's about because you would have been given a job description. So make sure you take the time to read the job description. Number four, don't ask what does the company do? What do you do here? Because it shows that you haven't done your homework, your research, because you can always check on the internet at their website or Google or look at their social media pages, their advertising to get a feel for what they do. Number five, don't say you don't know because that shows a lack of resourcefulness because you can always figure out a way to get the answer. You can say, I'll go and talk to this person or I'll go and do some research on the internet. Always have some form of an answer to give. Number six, if they ask you, do you have any questions? Don't say you don't have any questions because that shows that you're not interested in them when finding out more about them. Also, it shows that you're unprepared. Number seven, don't ask how much is the salary or how much do I get paid? Because that's putting the focus back on what's in it for you. And they're not interested in what's in it for you. They're interested in what's in it for them. Number eight, don't ask when will I get promoted from this role? Because once again, that's about yourself. It's not about them. Number nine, don't say I really need this job because I need the money to pay the rent and pay my bills because that shows that you lack interest in the role and in the company's mission statement. Once again, you're thinking of yourself and they're not interested in you. Number 10, don't say any lies because the truth would eventually come out. I remember many years ago, I was interviewing someone and I read their resume and they claimed that they wrote this very highly technical report. The interesting thing is I actually knew the person who actually wrote the report and I asked them during the interview, I said, can you just clarify this report in your resume that you've written? Is that true? You actually wrote the report? And they said, yes, I did write the report. And I said, listen, I know who actually wrote that report. So there's something uh, very strange about this. And then they said, well, to be honest, I didn't write the report. I initiated and I asked for the report to be written by that other person. So be careful. It's best not to lie because eventually the truth will come out. Number 11, don't say that your resume has errors because that shows that you didn't check before you submitted it and you're the kind of person that produces low quality work. Number 12, don't use unprofessional language. For example, swearing or saying the word S-H-I-T. That is not appropriate in an interview or even anywhere else, to be honest. Number 13, don't say that you're nervous about interviews because that shows a lack of confidence and they want people who are confident. Number 14, if they ask you something that's already been documented in your resume, don't say, well, look at my resume. Didn't you read my resume? Because that comes across as arrogant. 
Number 15, don't ask why the position is vacant as that may make them feel uncomfortable. Number 16, don't ask or speak about benefits like ask them how much holidays you get, how much paid leave you get, how much pay do you get. Number 17, don't say that I can't start work until after 9am. Number 18, don't say I don't like working back or after hours or on weekends because sometimes when it's critical you need to be flexible, you need to work a bit back or a bit extra, that's just normal. Number 19, don't say you're not into learning any new systems or software or you're not into professional development because that shows that you're not a person that wants to improve themselves, you're not a person that wants to grow or you have a growth mindset. It means you've actually got a fixed mindset which is a negative. Number 20, don't say that you were fired from your last job. Number 21, don't ask what time is lunch. Number 22, don't share your personal dramas like what's going on at home because anything negative that's going on at home is going to impact your work and they're not going to look at that favourably. Number 23, don't say anything racist, discriminative or inappropriate. For example, if the person that's interviewing is attractive, don't say, wow, you look good. Number 24, don't share any controversial opinions or mention anything political or religious because that can always be a, a bit of a sticking point because everyone's got different ideas, different perspectives. Number 25, don't say you don't have any weaknesses because that's a lie and comes across as being very arrogant. Number 26, if you answer the question about your weakness, don't say your weakness is that you're a workaholic or a perfectionist. I mean, they're not stupid. Number 27, don't mention a weakness that's critical or essential for the role. Number 28, don't speak negatively about yourself. Don't say, I'm not a good fit or I lack experience, or I can't work under pressure, or I'm not a detailed person. Number 29, don't speak in a lethargic and unenthusiastic way, or use a lot of ums and ahs. Number 30, don't say you don't have a copy of your resume with you, because they may actually ask you to run through your resume. So it's best to have a few copies as you may need to give them a copy to look at while you go through your resume. Number 31, if they ask you where do you see yourself in five years time, don't say I see myself doing your job or I'm coming after your job or say that oh, I don't intend to stay five years, I intend to leave after a year because I've got other plans, I'm going overseas or I'm starting my own business. Number 32, don't ask when will I hear back about the role? Because that could come across as being a bit too pushy. And finally, number 33, at the end of the interview, don't ask for feedback or ask them, did I get the job? Please let me know in the comments below your thoughts and if this helped or if you know of something else not to say in a job interview. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to thank you for your support and encouragement. I really appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you're interested in career related content direct from someone that has over 45 years of working experience from employee to employer to business owner who is a certified workplace coach and has spent the last 10 years coaching people on how to take charge of their life and career and improve it, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, you want to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like this video or got some value, then please do give it a thumbs up as that helps to reach and help other people. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts or if you have any questions or you may have a suggestion for a future video. If you know someone that needs to see this video, then please do share it. Till next time, take care.